Thank you for choosing an AVA monitor. Now we will demonstrate how to use it and what to watch out for. When we're facing the monitor, the left side has these ports and buttons. A menu exit button, a dial button for menu pop up and power on, an OTG USB C port for attaching a USB thumb drive or keyboard mouse, and a headphone jack. When we are facing the monitor, there are these ports on the right side PD power input port. USB-C video input port and mini HDMI video input port. To use the USB-C video input port, make sure your source device supports DP alt mode and has a video output. And use a USB-C cable that supports video transfer. Usually that cable is thicker and stronger, and it has at least 16 cores inside. To turn on the monitor, just one press the left dial button and the right power light will illuminate. Then wait a few seconds and the screen will turn on and show blue. Now let's connect the Samsung S series smartphone. Plug the USB-C cable into the middle USB-C video input port on the right side of the monitor. Remember that the USB-C cable must be able to transmit video, and the smartphone must be able to output video over USB-C, as mentioned earlier. As you can see, the monitor shows a mirrored screen. If you want to use Android desktop mode or DeX, please enable reverse charging in the OSD menu. When you enable reverse charging, your smartphone will be charged by the monitor. This step is necessary for some smartphones or Nintendo Switch. DeX mode appears when reverse charging is enabled. Now let's connect wirelessly. First, enable wireless mode in the OSD menu. Then connect the transmitter to the smartphone. The transmitter has three ports. They are a USB-C video input port, a mini HDMI video input port, and a PD power input port. We'll connect its USB-C port to a smartphone, which will allow you to touch wirelessly. If you are using the HDMI port for video transmission, touch is not supported. The transmitter will display a different color when trying to connect. When the red light is on, it means that no signal is detected. When the blue light is on, a signal is detected and pairing is attempted. When the green light is on, the signal is paired. Now let us show you how to connect Nintendo Switch in wired mode. First, plug the USB-C cable into the monitor video in port and connect the Nintendo Switch. Turn on reverse charging in the OSD menu to let the monitor charge the Nintendo Switch. This step is very important and necessary. After a few seconds, the display will show the Nintendo Switch content. Please note that the Nintendo Switch does not support external monitor touch functionality, either wired or wireless. That's a limitation of the Nintendo Switch. To use the Nintendo Switch's wireless mode, you must use its PD power supply. First, turn on wireless mode in the monitor OSD menu. Plug its original power supply into the PD power input port of the transmitter. Then plug the USB-C cable into the transmitter video in port and connect the Nintendo Switch. Wait a few seconds and the display will show the Nintendo Switch content. Please note that not all PD power supplies support Nintendo Switch. We recommend using its original power supply. Now let us show you how to connect your PS, Xbox in wireless mode. First, turn on wireless mode in the monitor OSD menu. Plug the PD power supply into the PD power input port of the transmitter. Then connect the HDMI cable between the PS and the transmitter. Note that the transmitter must be powered by an external PD power supply. You can't use it without a power supply as the HDMI source cannot power it. The transmitter reset button is used to repair the monitor and transmitter. If the monitor cannot find a signal in wireless mode, please put the transmitter on the back of the monitor, plug in the video source and PD power supply, and press the reset button to repair. When trying to pair, the transmitter will display a different color. When the red light is on, it means that no signal is detected. When the blue light is on, a signal is detected and pairing is attempted. When the green light is on, the signal is paired. This can take a few minutes each time and require several times repairs to get green light. The USB-C cable used for video transmission must have at least 16 cores inside. If you're sure your source device can output video, but there's still no signal, Try plugging the cable firmly into the port or try a different USB-C video cable. Let's sum up some key points. If using a USB-C video source, 
Make sure your smartphone or source device supports DP Alt mode and has video output capability. If your source device has a USB-C cable connected to the monitor and nothing is displayed, most likely your source device does not support video output over USB-C. You can use HDMI instead. Keep in mind that HDMI video does not support touchback and requires PD power to the transmitter when using HDMI.